Latest transfer news for Manchester United. Now, we've been obviously linked with a whole host of players this summer already and certain transfer links just won't go away and new transfer links pop up now and again. So I'm going to look over a few players that Manchester United are being linked with and give you some more insight and talk on what I believe, whether I think they're going to happen and whether they're good fits. So first one is Rabio from PSG. Now, He's left PSG on a free. Rabio is looking for a new club, just like Herrera left Manchester United on a free. He has left PSG on a free. Looks like Herrera is going to PSG, so could Rabio be coming to Manchester United? Now, a lot of sources are saying that Manchester United have offered around 170 grand a week for the French Frenchman. So, should should Manchester United be be doing this deal? Well, he's a free agent, so. If he comes to Manchester United on 170 odd grand a week, he I think he is 24 years of age, so he's a lot younger than And Herrera. And Herrera was getting ready to turn 30. Now they're not identical players, but obviously they're going to occupy a midfield position in the squad. So if you bring him in, he will be sort of seen as the replacement in the squad to And Herrera. Now it will be almost if one goes the other one way and one goes the other, it will almost be like Manchester United and PSG have swapped the players over. So it, letting one player go go on a free, we, we would be getting one on a free. So it wouldn't be bad business. Manchester United wouldn't have to pay any transfer fee for him. And 170 grand a week isn't so bad for Manchester United. Now, obviously, Ant Herrera was looking at a lot more than that. I think he was looking at around two, was was offered more money than that at PSG, around sort of 200. I don't think, I don't know what Manchester United actually offered Ant Herrera, but obviously, PSG were offering him more, so he obviously was going to leave Manchester United for the better off, obviously hitting 30. So we'd be getting a younger man. So this is a deal I could see see potentially happening. I, I could. It, it wouldn't be. I don't think it would be the worst transfer Manchester United can make. Certainly with a, with a free agent, you can't really go wrong there. He would fill up the squad definitely. Even if I mean the the, the reports are that he's got problems with his attitude and that as well. That's that is my only only downfall with this transfer happening but besides that the actual transfer of a free agent isn't really a problem for Manchester United just paying his wages I mean obviously if he was going to a smaller club the wages would be a problem but Manchester United couldn't pay that I mean we're paying the likes of Alexis Sanchez a lot more who should get off the wage bill so I think this could be a, could be an okay signing for Manchester United obviously not paying a stupid amount 80 90 million for for a player that's, that may well flop so and obviously fits that mould of being in the in the sort of younger age, ready to hit his prime, sort of 22, 23 sort of age. I think he's about 24, so just getting ready to hit his prime. So wouldn't be opposed to seeing that deal happen if it happens. We've got to get some more bodies in midfield because the, the only problem will be is will the youngsters still get a chance if we sign two midfielders, but we've got to get some more midfielders in there. Matic is coming to the end of his time. Paul Pogba may well still lead Manchester United, which I do believe could be the case. Scott McTominay and Fred are probably not, well, Fred certainly isn't a first team regular at all, and I'm not too sure what's going to happen with Fred. He's flattered to deceive so far, and Scott McTominay did get better as the, towards the end of last season, was given more opportunities under Solskjaer and seemed to blossom a bit. So we are thin on the ground in midfield. We've still got Gomez who can play in a midfield role. We still have other options. James Garner can play play a midfield role. So we do have options. We've got Levitt as well, who's been called up to the Wales squad, can also occupy midfield positions. So we do have some bodies. So that would be my only only concern if we bring in a couple of midfielders and Paul Pogba stays. It may well hinder some of the young talent getting game time. Now, the second one I'm going to talk about is James Madison from Leicester City. Now, Ma Manchester United have had strong links today with the England under-21 or whatever you international, not actually first team international yet, but still only a young a young guy. I think he's 22 years of age. Had a good se season last season for Leicester, but the fee is figured around £60 million, which is steep for, for the guy. I mean... I'm not opposed to Manchester United potentially signing him. A decent player, was decent last season for Leicester. I think he got seven goals and seven assists, which is not bad from an attacking midfield sort of area. Would he be the man that Manchester United would be looking to bring in if Paul Pogba does leave? 
Manchester United to occupy that space in the squad, not necessarily replacing Paul Pogba, but replacing him in that in the in the squad. Now I don't know if that's going to be the case, but if he does come to Manchester United again, would it hinder the likes of uh, Angel Gomez? That could be a a key factor for Manchester United because he's a bit unhappy at Manchester United due to the lack of game time. But the only good thing is Manchester United will hopefully have a lot of games next season. I know a lot of fans don't want to be in the Europa League, but it will give a lot of opportunities to players that haven't got enough minutes this past season. So if Manchester United sign him, it's a great upcoming young British talent. And Manchester United are apparently looking to get back to getting a core of decent British players, which they've always had under Fergie and whatnot and we've we've gone away from that in recent years and gone for the older more experienced players to try and get the quick fix and it hasn't really worked so maybe building a squad of great British young talent and, and built in with a couple of with some foreign players as well young players that are that are, that are maybe going to hit their pro, hit 23 24 they're going to hit their prime maybe maybe the way for Manchester United to go now the only other really one I'm going to touch on here is Bruno Fernandes. Now, I did say last week that I thought maybe Manchester United were the front runners for Bruno Fernandes, which is what a lot of the papers were saying, that a deal could maybe be done this week. I wasn't too sure if that was going to be the case or a load of horseshit. But from what the reports are coming out now is that it's not just Manchester United and Manchester City in the fold. A lot of people are saying Liverpool are in with a good shout of him. And some of the bookies are even putting Liverpool as now the favourites to sign him now I don't know if that is that is the case but he did say that he liked the style and the way that Jurgen Klopp plays for Liverpool whether that's that's an indication of he wants to play for, for Liverpool I don't know but we will have to wait and see on that one but, but an exciting player Bruno Fernandes and would be a massive blow if Manchester United can't get a player of that ilk in and he does go to Manchester City or Liverpool but the only thing is I'm not too sure how how he's going to get a get, get so much game. I mean, Manchester City have such a massive squad, and unless some of their players, the likes of maybe David Silva move on, and and a couple of others maybe move on, then will he get get uh, game time every single week there? I don't know, but would be a, I think would be a good addition to Manchester United, an attacking midfield, second striker, whatever you want to call him. I think he did play out in a, in a few wider areas for for Sporting this season as well in the front three I'm not too sure I haven't, haven't really seen I've watched a bit of him now on YouTube but I didn't watch Sporting play at all last season did score two or three goals I think in the in the Europa League as well scored so many goals and assists so he's 24 I think so just about to hit his prime which the other one is one um, Felix or however you pronounce his name he is 19 and he is another another real prospect that is being taught of in the press uh, and I, I don't think Manchester United are going to sign him, but he's a lot younger than Bruno Fernandes, so I would go for Bruno Fernandes over someone like that, probably because Manchester United need players to come in and hit the ground running. We don't want too many real young talents, and if we do sign any young talents, it would be for me, Delet. Now, he's the only other real one we can really talk about in this video. I suppose I could, could go over him a little bit. Now, there isn't too much really to talk about with Delet. In the news for Manchester United at the moment, all the talk is that he's going to make a decision probably after the Nation League to decide where he's going to go. The, the decision is already made as far as I, I, I would think. He wouldn't just be deciding it after then. He's already decided and he's just going to announce it to the world. It will probably be Barcelona, but the only thing is I don't know what's holding it up with him not announcing it to Barcelona. Frankie de Jong announced that he was, that was announced before previous that he was going to Barcelona and there's no been a no announcement with Griezmann either of where if he's going to Barcelona that seemed nailed on as well so these two things are a bit strange maybe the agents are trying to bump up the price to get you know Raiola's trying to get more money out of uh, Barcelona or, or wherever he is going but I believe that Barcelona will get the man and it will be a kick in the teeth to Manchester United because who else can we sign in that centre-back position to strengthen us next season there are obviously players that are much better than the likes of Jones, Smalling and Rojo but Manchester United don't want to just go for a slightly better player we, we need a world class centre half because the defence is an absolute shambles anyway hopefully there will be some better news in the coming days for Manchester United really do hope it is going a little bit a little bit stale in certain areas which I'm not liking at the moment but it is only a few weeks into the transfer market we can't be 
moaning too much. Sometimes it's just a case of, of one transfer gets done and then another two, bang, bang, go out. It, just one transfer can be a domino effect at one club. It could change everything. So we just have to wait and see. Hopefully there's better news in the next week or so. Let me know your thoughts on the transfer latest. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again.